From Apple Valley News Now, First Alert Weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Tiffany Savona. It's not quite as chilly as it has been the past couple of mornings out there. Hopefully you enjoyed the 70s yesterday. And if you like the warm weather, well, today is going to be your day. In fact, we'll be close to record highs for this date in April. So this is what it looks like out of our Legends Casino Hotel Skycam in Richland this morning. That sunrise is going to be uh, before 7 o'clock, closer to 6.30. And right now, temperatures are hovering in the 40s out there. It's 44 in Tri-Cities, 49 Walla Walla, 46 in Pendleton, 46 in Toppenish, and 41 in Yakima. So more 40s than 30s on the map this morning, which is always a good sign. High pressure firmly in control of our weather and all across the states of Washington, Oregon, and Idaho. We're watching our next cold front. That will be here early tomorrow morning, and that's going to usher in some much cooler air from the north and west. So here's the weather pattern. Today will be our last warm day as we watch that storm system offshore. That'll swing in tomorrow. We'll have a cold front at the surface and that's going to bring rain chances back and cooler weather back and that'll last for a stretch of days as our rain chances will be increasing on Thursday area wide with snow in the higher elevations of the Cascades. So today look for highs in the upper 70s to near 80 degrees. 80 for your high in Yakima, 81 at Hanford, 80 in Tri-Cities, 80 Hermiston and 77 in Walla Walla. We're talking about that near record warmth and some of us will be very close to those record highs. Tri-Cities, one of those locations. We're forecasting 80. The record to beat is 82. So it'll be a close call, but that's a long standing record back in 1908. Yakima, we're forecasting 80 degrees. If we hit 80, we'll tie the old record set back in 1992. Walla Walla 77, your record of 83 will remain on the safe side likely. And in Hermiston, 80 degrees. If we hit it, we'll tie that old record set back in 1944. Tonight, we'll see those clouds increasing. It will become breezy, so you will notice the wind will pick up. Maybe a few showers, Walla Walla and Pendleton. The rest of us will stay dry as that cold front approaches from the north and west. Temperatures only drop into the 40s once again, mid to upper 40s as you're waking up early on your Wednesday. And you want to take that umbrella with you on Wednesday. We'll have a chance for a few showers in the morning. The best chances will really be from Tri-Cities and points off to the east. I think we'll stay dry, sunny side and Yakima tomorrow before those rain chances increase area wide by Thursday and Friday. So tomorrow, look at this temperature drop. We're around 80 today. We're going to be 20 plus degrees cooler tomorrow. That's kind of a shock to the system. That's a big change. 59 tomorrow in Tri-Cities, 54 Walla Walla, 59 in Toppenish, and 53 in Pendleton. And it continues to get cooler this week as the rain chances go up. So Tri-Cities Thursday, Friday, best chance for scattered showers. Neither of the days look like a washout, but you'll need the rain gear. And then the weekend is looking drier as temperatures climb back to where they should be into the low and middle 60s. Yakima today, 80, 57 tomorrow with a lot of clouds. And rain chances not quite as high for the Yakima Valley. The best chances will be for areas to your east, but you'll still want to take that umbrella just in case Thursday and Friday drier into the weekend. Walla Walla Foothills of the Blues, you have better chances for more widespread rain. That's why it will be a little bit cooler. Look at Thursday and Friday. We're talking about highs in the 40s after being close to 80 today. 50s return this weekend. Hermiston, 80 degrees today, 56 tomorrow. Better chances for some scattered rain as we head into Thursday and Friday with highs on the cooler side into the 50s.